Good evening everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a bit of design for the simple lamp which was requested during a live stream um, by Andy. I was looking for simple projects to do over the course of um, maybe two or three short live streams or maybe just one long one and he suggested a simple lamp so that's what I'm going to be doing. I've made a, a little start on the design I'll just show you how I've got to where I am at the moment which is basically a um, a base and part of a stem or the blank for a stem so I've just drawn out a, uh, a base and I've made that six inches by six inches and I've lifted it up by an inch I give a reasonable base then what I want to do with that is put um, some or put a, a mortise in the middle just let me know if you can hear me and see what's going on. It'd be nice to know who you are as well. Just pop it in the chat. I can see uh, everything that's going on to this evening because I'm not walking around the place wondering what's uh, going on. So I want to put the mortise in the middle of about an inch and that wants to be two and a half inches from that edge and that edge. And let's just draw that in. A one by one mortise and we can push that through to the rear side that gives us a mortise through our base and uh, before I work on another component if I select let's get rid of these construction lines first if I select everything with three clicks there and change that into a component and call that base 2 click away from it and then I can draw on top of this and it won't um, attach itself so on top of that I want to have a stem and I'd like my stem to be made up of two pieces of 2x1 two so 2x1 um, I want that to be about 12 inches total in height for the lamp so including the mortise let's bring that up 12 inches hi Lego man good to see you I'm using sketch up here uh, an old version actually about three years old uh, so we've got that the right length now we want to put it in the right position so and I'm not very good at using SketchUp, so it's, it's interesting. We want the this side here to be. Oops. Let's make it a stem first. Make component stem two. So let's move that over. So it's in line with that. Then let's move it so it's in the middle. Let's go in a bit. Oh dear, come on, let go. Told you I'm not particularly great at this. Let's connect the midpoint there to the midpoint of the mortise. Now I want to come halfway across here as well. So select that component, bring the middle of that to the middle of the mortise. And then because I want it to go through the mortise, let's drop it down an inch which I can just do by doing that so now we've got that right the way through but obviously part of it is not in the mortise part of it's too big so if we view that as an x-ray hi Andy view that as an x-ray I can now see what's going on and if I edit the stem I can draw around where the mortise is there, there, there and there and then I should be able to push up this section up to the top of the base and I can snap to that line there let's come out let's turn x-ray back off where are we view x-ray 
and now I can lift that in and out and you'll see that we now have a tenon on there okay pop that back so now I've got two lamp bases with two tenons I've got them both to the same position that I had before so I, was, I did that beforehand just to warm myself up I don't use uh, <laughs> sketch up that often and as I say I'm not very good at it but uh, trying to get my hand back in right, talking of hands I've done a fair bit of um, work in the last few days on a, on a new project I'm doing and my hands really do hurt today so not great using the mouse but anyway now what I'm going to do is scrub one of these completely Let's scrub the old one don't need that we'll work on this I'm making the stem up of two pieces they want to be the same so I can make a copy of that one like that and I want to flip it round so that the mortise is aligned with the other one so flip along I think it's red yeah so that's moved the mortise onto the middle of it so it'll pop into that uh, sorry it's moved the tenon across to the inside face so now I should be able to move that join up with that one and there we've got our base and our stem the stems rather boring at the moment so I was thinking I'll do something with it and I was thinking of maybe some tapers because it's always good to have or good to know how to taper things in the workshop so let's put a, a taper on there everything I do to this stem um, this half of the stem will be copied on the other one because they're the same component so all I need to do is edit the one and I'm going to simply draw a line around we've got 11 inches here now so let's go three inches up from here three let's draw a line around it there I said I don't know why I've done tapers because tapers are quite difficult to do uh, in SketchUp or well, they are for me anyway so now I want to taper both the top and the bottom let's start with the top and let's think that we might reduce that to uh, so it's two inches isn't it, let's go to an inch square on the top of that so zoom in there if we come in half an inch that side and that side and this side we've got to leave enough space at the top to attach the, the fitting which is normally I think a three-eighths of an inch screw fitting something like that so now if I draw around that square that's where we want it to end up the first thing I'm going to do is also draw from there to there and from there to there and I'm going to draw from there to there and there to there and I can push that whole piece away and that whole piece away now I want to move this line up to or this bit here up to there and I think that will do it so let's select that line and let's move that into there let's get rid of some of the construction lines let me see we've got the top half tapered Now do the same on the bottom half. Let's hide the base to begin with. Yeah. Hide the rest of that. Now we don't want to make it so that the, the mortise is the same size 
<coughs> as the, as we taper to because that that'll look a bit daft and if we muck up the mortise then we'll see a gap so let's uh, perhaps go for halfway like so and then about a quarter of an inch out from the mortise same as before I'll draw those lines in and that line and there to there and there to there let's push away that bit oops now let's stop me on that line what have I done wrong oh yeah I put that line in there which we don't want and that bit push that away push that away and take that line and move it into there let's view everything again I'll just click outside I think there we go so it's a very 60s 50s 50s maybe 60s style lamp uh, yeah probably probably 50s actually so just a tapered stem on a nice flat base and we can pop our light fitting on the top and a shade I'm actually going to try and make a shade in the streams a bit later and uh, that's going to be interesting I've got a few ideas but how do we get the mains electric up to here we need to have a hole through the middle and that's an awful long way to drill so what I'm going to do is run a groove in those components before I start tapering them so let's open one up let's just look at one at a time there we go so we want to have a groove in there let's put a center line down and I think we will probably come about an eighth of an inch either side of there and that will be an eighth of an inch Oops. that way join those bits up need that center line anymore and uh, we can push this right the way through it's uh, rectangular at the moment but as you see if we put these two bits together it'll end up being a square hole and uh, it should be tight enough to screw the fitting in the top let's get rid of these lines again So base and a stem, hole through the stem to get the cable through. Now those uh, stem sides are going to be glued together and what I'm going to do is put a wedge or two little wedges, one through this half, one through that half pushing out this way so we'll make sure that the uh, the base direction of the grain in the base is going in this direction as well so we don't get any splitting what else can we do to make it a little bit nicer well we could put some uh, let's see some chamfers on the base so let's work out how to do that let's edit the base Let's pop about an eighth of an inch, maybe. What does that look like? Oh, that's not very big. Let's make it a quarter of an inch. 
and a quarter of an inch there and there and over there let's join those up That's connected to the wrong place. We go back there to that. Okay, now select. Let's see, this could be interesting. Always learning when I use this program. Select all of those and let's drop those down by. Oops, now that hasn't worked. Oh dear, what went wrong there? Should we be connecting that to there? Well, that one to there. Is that going to work? That's better. So we want to go down there a quarter of an inch as well. And let's get rid of these lines again. Okay, so I'm reasonably happy with that. We can do some other things. We'll probably put a tiny shaft on each of these corners and we'll probably shaft for or round off the sides of the, the stem so let's save that now as far as the uh, the shade goes and this is definitely going to be a work in progress I've got no idea what it's going to end up looking like but the simplest thing would be to start with a circle I guess and uh, then maybe draw that out 60 shades I think will have not have been um, like a cylinder they would have been tapered in some direction or other so interesting how I would do that Get rid of that so it's empty. And then can we pop that call it the shade? And try and move that center point on top of and down a little bit. Ooh, that looks a bit daft. I don't like that. I think that's too big. Somewhere in here I think is a scale. So can we scale that? That's perhaps okay. gone off center again so da 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 where's the center Oh, 
Oh, it's playing silly buggers with me. Let's get the center. There. Put it over there. It's hard to get the exact center of something that isn't doesn't actually exist. But that'll do. So, okay, that just give you an idea of the, the space to fill up with the, the shade, but how I'm going to make something like that out of wood, um, I'm not sure. Probably I'll be putting um, a number of slats, or making a circle for each end and putting slats which uh, overlap but have gaps in between, because we want the light to come out but we don't want to be looking directly at the, uh, the light source. But that's definitely something for another day. Well, hopefully, hopefully that was a bit interesting. Um, I'll show you how I'm going to make these various pieces. Um, I've said I'll be using wood just from DIY store, so we'll be looking for something which is probably two by one, and we can glue three sections up to make the base. Uh, we may need to go um, a little bit larger, maybe. Uh, three by one, glue them up and then uh, plane it to exact size because boards from DIY uh, they're going to be nominal sizes so a two inch board is going to be a bit less than two inches. So we'll glue three up to make the base. Uh, for these ones we shall first of all cut to length probably um, two foot, just over two foot then run plough the groove down the middle with a plough plane or a combination plane and then we can start to taper it so you can see at the moment we can't taper it as one long length and then cut it in half because these two tapers come to a point in the middle which would be quite difficult so we'll we'll cut that in half to to um, 12 inches each and then we shall mark round where the tapers go to join with a pencil we'll mark at the end, each end, the square that we're shooting for, and then we better saw most of the waste off, saw most of this off. Uh, we'll do one side at a time, so we'll saw that off, and then we'll plane the taper to the right place, almost. Same the other side, and then the same on the other faces. And then once all of those are roughly to the right taper, We'll use the smoother just to bring them exactly to the right position and get rid of all the saw marks. Then we'll probably round off the edges. So a few chamfers, use a block plane just to, to chamfer it perhaps a sixteenth, maybe an eighth of an inch, and then knock off all the corners on the chamfers to turn it into a round. Uh, the tenon on the end, actually we could cut the tenon before we do any of the tapering, that would be sensible. So we'll mark around for the, the tenon with a square, saw it, pair it, pair the, um, the surface cheeks and the shoulders with a chisel to get a nice fitting tenon and then we'll saw through for the wedge. And in the base uh, where we're cutting the mortise, there'll be two options there, when we glue up this panel for the base we could actually have already cut out for the mortise, that'd be very easy to saw each of those sides and then glue the pieces together to form the mortise so that might be one way or else we could glue the panel up first and then uh, drill through taking most of the waste out and then clean up for a square mortise using chisels. I think that just about covers all the steps that are involved in doing the base. All right, well thanks for joining me if you have any questions do let me know and what I shall do is, uh, I don't think I need to edit this video actually, I'll just be able to let this go on the replay and uh, let anyone else who's interested watch it.
So let me know if you've got any questions, uh, leave any comments on the simple design. Uh, it is very simple design, but uh, it will be introducing beginners to some of the techniques that are really uh, useful uh, for unplugged woodworkers when you start woodworking. Okay, catch you next time. Cheerio. Thanks, Andy. Thanks, Lawrence.